Well, I think the most profound cultural development is it is possible to make the case that language itself is an ability that was coaxed out of a, an evolving primate species by virtue of the fact that there were hallucinogenic plants in the diet of that creature. You see, psilocybin has been shown in low doses to actually increase visual acuity. Well, at the stage of evolution where a human beings encountered psilocybin mushrooms, we were essentially baboon-like pack-hunting hordes of veldt-living creatures in Africa. In that situation, a compound which increases visual acuity will give a tremendous adaptive advantage to the animals that are including it in their diet. And those animals not including it in their diet will be quickly eliminated by the process of natural selection from the evolutionary scenario. So it's possible to argue that this mind-manifesting quality of the psychedelics actually conferred an evolutionary uh, advantage on certain primates who then were able to bootstrap themselves to higher and higher states of reflective self-awareness. This may lie behind the very early coincidence of cattle, goddesses, and mushrooms in the apparent obsessions of early man as reflected by the cave paintings on the Algerian plateau and in southern France and Spain. We always find the notion of the mystery circa 18,000 years ago connected with the idea of cattle, and we always find the cattle connected with the notion of the great goddess. Now it may be that the hidden and third member of this trinity was a hallucinogenic mushroom of some sort. We've got only about two minutes left, but I, I wonder what the connection, I don't, I don't quite see it between the mushroom, the cattle, and the goddess. The mushrooms grow in the manure of the cattle when the hunting packs of early primates followed along behind the cattle, they inevitably encountered the mushroom, ate it, had their visual skills thereby increased, bred more readily, therefore, and survived more easily than their non-mushroom-eating cousins. And so the eating of mushrooms and the development of higher aspects of consciousness, including self-reflection, were thereby enforced leading to the conclusion that it was actually a symbiotic relationship between early primates and these hallucinogenic plants that laid the basis for the appearance of what we call human beings. Well, Terence McKenna, this is a very interesting discussion. You seem to be suggesting that our evolution, I suppose, from the animal kingdom into the human kingdom itself was catalyzed or, or triggered by our encounter with these hallucinogenics. And Yes, we are an ape with a symbiotic relationship to a mushroom, and that has given us self-reflection, language, religion, and all the spectrum of effects that flow from these things. Yeah, and one can only wonder how these hallucinogens might affect our future evolution as well. They have brought us to this point, and as we make our relationship to them conscious, we may be able to take control of our future evolutionary path.